Hi, this is Mike Massens at the Elisis booth at NAMM 2015 and with Kit TV. And I'm going to show you the IODOC 2. The IODOC 2 is our brand new rendition for the IODOC. You can see it's tooled a little bit differently here. This is designed to accommodate all of the current generations of iPad today. One of the first things that you'll notice is different. Instead of having our connection back here, we actually tooled it to where this is as future proof as we could make it. It comes with a 30 pin adapter as well as a lightning connection. So no matter what iPad you're using, you can connect it right away and it will also accommodate future iPad connections if the case may be. As you can see, it also has a slide out panel here so it will accommodate the original thicker iPad. When this is slid in, it accommodates the iPad 2 and the new iPad. This is a full interface for your iPad performance and recording. Here you can see you have two inputs that are combo jacks to so accommodate line and XLR with independent volume controls. You have a guitar and mic line switch which will change the impedance and a phantom power so you can use a condenser microphone. You can even plug in a foot switch too if you're wanting to run an instrument in via MIDI. You have USB out to run to your computer as well as a headphone jack with its own independent volume control. This is the IODOC 2, only from Alesis. Sitting next to it, we have the IO Mix. This is the world's first four-channel recorder for the iPad. You can see a similar tooling here where this will accommodate the current 30-pin and lightning connection models and will also accommodate any future iPad connection, whether if the case may be. This comes with a version of Logic for iPad, uh, so you can actually take everything out of the box and start recording right away. On the rear side, you can see that it has four inputs, all combo, individual gain controls, phantom power, guitar and line, and then balanced outputs. Again, this is the IO Mix 4 channel recorder from Alesis here at NAM 2015.